Hey guys, this is your friend Nikki back again. So today I'm going to show you guys how to connect and how to configure the Bitdefender Box 2. This guy right over here. This is going to sit in between your router or switch provided by your ISP or internet service provider, in my case Verizon. You may have Comcast or the number of other ISPs there are out there. So I'm going to show you guys up close and personal. So I'm going to bring you in a lot closer. I'm going to show you guys not only setting up on here and on my computer, but I'm also going to show you guys setting up on your phone as well. Your phone's going to be the controller for everything. So come over here real quick and let's see what's going on. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is connect this cable, the power for this guy, that comes with the Bitdefender box too. We're going to want to connect it right down here. Okay, and once we connect it, we're going to see this little ring light up. In a few seconds, it's going to start spinning, and that's when we know we're going to start installing. Perfect, perfect. Now that that's going, on the phone, we're going to go ahead and go into your settings. Next, we're going to go into network and internet. Then we're going to go into Wi-Fi. Okay, it's going to do its searching here. I have a whole lot of uh, routers around here. And once we see it, we'll see the Bitdefender box. So we'll go ahead and connect on that guy. And now on the back of the router itself right up here there's going to be a password so give me one second while I enter that into my phone that is the Bitdefenders box password Okay, now that's going to start connect. Okay, now it says connected, no internet. So now, next, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is connect the Ethernet cable into this little port here. There is a logo right over here that looks like a little earth with a little ring around it. Kind of looks like an earth link symbol, if you remember what that looks like. That's where you're going to want to go ahead and connect your Ethernet cable that comes from the actual router from your ISP right into here okay okay now that we're done here we're gonna go ahead and just close this out now we're gonna go ahead and open up a QR reader we're gonna use the QR reader on the instructions that came with the Bitdefender box just gotta find it here Okay, so then focusing in, oh, that may not have been it, right over here. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and click on this guy. Okay, I've already installed it, so now we're just going to go ahead and open it. Okay, now if you already have a Bitdefender login and password, enter that here. If not, we'll go ahead and create one. I don't have one. So give me one second while I fill this in. Okay, so now welcome to Bitdefender Central. Let's take a moment to walk you through the app so you can secure all devices and manage Bitdefender box for your smart home. So we'll go ahead and click next. Manage devices and users. Okay, we'll go ahead and click this. All right, check your security and get real-time notification. And do you want to set up Bitdefender box now? Yeah, let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, I do recommend clicking on subscription agreement just to read what you're getting yourself into and the privacy policy on the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now and click continue. Okay, Bitdefender box setup. Let's set up your Bitdefender box and secure your home network. A typical process should take about 10 minutes. Get started. 
Okay, we've already done that, connecting the power. And we've already done this, connecting to the Bit Defender box. So it's doing its thing now. And now we've connected the, we've already connected the Bit Defender box to the internet, connecting it to the ISP. And we'll click next. All right, so you're ready to secure net, your network. Bitdefender box is now configured and active, but you still need to secure your home network. So let's set up network security. Okay, so now going through right over here, I have both setups, but for right now, I'm going to set it up as I have a Wi-Fi wi router from my ISP. Later on, I'll do another video where I have a personal Wi-Fi router. So we'll go ahead and select I have a Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi name. So now it's going to look for it. Okay, now that that's looked through it, now we'll look for my router here. And here we go, T3WXJ. We'll select that. And one sec while I enter in the password. All right, finalizing setup. Please be patient while Bitdefender Box is setting up your secure Wi-Fi network. Check your phone again in a while. We'll have set you up and running in a few minutes. I will have you up and running in a few minutes. I injected words I wanted to see there. <laughs> and it took me a few more seconds because actually I had my SSID or the name of the router turned off and the Wi-Fi for my router turned off because I was using the Orbi router, which again, after this video, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to use a separate router if you don't, have, if you don't use your ISP's router, or in this case, they call it a modem. All right, so disable Wi-Fi on your ISP provided router. So like I did before, I'll just turn it off and apply those settings. All right, so now it's off and I'll click next. And your Wi-Fi details remain the same. So now it's seeing my T3WXJ just like it saw it before, but now instead of being the router provided by Verizon, my ISP, it's actually now the Bitdefender box that took over. All right, and there it's showing my password in clear text, and I will go ahead and remove that so you can't see it. Sorry, guys. And I'll click Next. Congratulations, your Bitdefender box is set up and running, and your home network is secured. Bitdefender box will now start to discover devices in your network. So we'll click next. Bitdefender box will now start scanning for devices. So we'll go ahead and click OK. OK, so now it sees my phone first off. So I'm going to go ahead and click to protect it. And now install protection. Yep, we're using Android. And we'll go ahead and install mobile security and send yep go ahead and send okay my home is now safe okay so one sec while I check my email okay verify now okay so they had me verify my email address now I'll continue to Bitdefender Central and now I'll enter in my information Okay, now install local protection, mobile security, go to Google Play, and now it's going to install Bitdefender mobile security and antivirus. And we 
click open. I agree and continue. Okay, now it shows there we have 365 days left. We can always check subscription details in my account selection. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the virus scan just for now. Install local protection. And now this time we'll do the parental advisor. I do have kids. And we'll go to Google Play. And now install Bitdefender Parental Advisor. Go ahead, open it up. Install this app on your child's Android phone or tablet. Always know where your kids are and set the screen time limits for your children and block inappropriate websites and sign in. I agree. Continue. Turn on accessibility for parental control. So turn on. And we'll go ahead and click on Bitdefender and enable it. Clicking up there and OK. Alright, so we're done there. Okay, just closing through some things. Now the phone is protected. You can see we have the protection and the privacy. So we'll click back. And if I click plus, install protection on another device. Uh, there are more Android devices, but nobody's here right now. And I do have all the other computers turned off. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on my son's computer real quick. One sec. All right, now that his computer is on, we'll go ahead and click Windows. Okay, and then now we'll send all the same information to my son's PC. So I'll go ahead and skip that for now. And then let's see if there's anything else I should be aware of here. So again, we can add devices. We'll do some more of that later. It would be the same process. They would be emailed and then add a device, add Bitdefender VPN. You can then there's also a VPN service. I actually didn't know about that. I'll have to do that a little bit later on. I wasn't prepared for that. And uh, well, that's about it for now. Um, I'm definitely going to bring you some more videos on this. This is very interesting. And uh, I will get back to you guys. Again, this is Iggy showing you guys how to set up and configure the Bitdefender Box 2. Next video is going to be how to set it up with your additional router. So, for example, if your ISP doesn't have a powerful router, like it doesn't have, provide enough Wi-Fi signal, or maybe you want to uh, attach more devices, most people have their own Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.